Now we move on to the thorny uh, topic of VAR yes. and its accuracy because uh, the good people at the University of Bath, the boffins there, have taken a look at the way it's uh, working and they're not massively impressed. Um, the Dr. scientists have had a look of their... That's been. right. Dr. Okay. Pia Soltani, the University of Bath Centre for Analysis of Motion, Entertainment Research and Applications. Mm. Uh, Dr. Soltani, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Coming. So what have you noticed? What, 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 what have you noticed about VAR and the way the, the cameras work that, that makes you think they're really not up to, up to scratch? That's right. I should mention that in general, VAR is working and the number of fouls, offside, yellow cards and mistaken identity are decreased since the introduction. But on the other hand, the effective playing time may also decrease. Sometimes the line of vision uh, could be obscured and due to rapid nature of the game, some critical moments could still appear blurry. So I did a study to compare people's judgments with 3D motion capture technology, which can detect spatial and temporal parameters of the ball and the players more accurately. And as you mentioned, the results were not very good. Yeah. So the ca- the, it's the cameras they're using um, just don't record no. it accurately enough. That That's the issue at the moment, is it? So you know, we're not getting an accurate picture because the cameras they use are not well, state-of-the-art or certainly not as good as the ones that you used. Most of the time they use the similar cameras that are used for broadcasting, which have certain frame rate, normally between 24 to 30 pictures per second. And uh, the same output are used for VAR judgments. Obviously there are better cameras, but if they are going to use them in VAR situations, they will be costly and not very practical. No. Um, I suppose there's not much they can do about it, really. So you're suggesting they have separate cameras of of a higher frame rate? At the moment, they are thinking of using higher frame rate cameras, but these cameras are specialized cameras and may not be usable for um, different occasions. So they are going to be adding more cost to the VAR system. Uh, they also require powerful computers for transferring the data, and obviously it will, be, it will take time to process the data. So all of these things can add complications to the existing problems of VAR. What do you make of, have you had a look at the semi-automated offside system we're going to see in the World Cup that's going to be coming in? From the pictures and the information on their website, FIFA has recently introduced artificial intelligence, fancy name, to, to derive computer avatars using 29 data points that they will extract live from each player. Uh, we just have to see how this new technology will perform because uh, there are still issues related to the communication of the data, synchronization of the ball movement with players' data, calibration of the system is another issue, because uh, you mount these cameras on the platforms where fans are constantly jumping up and down on them, making the, making the platform shake, and um, making the cameras out of calibration at, at, at some point. We just have to see how these cameras, how this new system will perform, and what sort of controversies will arise from this new technology. Are, are you a football fan yourself, Doctor? <laughs> I follow the news and I'm interested in anything related to, to making it more scientific. I just wondered if the reason you did this research is your team was sawn off by a yeah. bad decision. <laughs> 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 and you were quite bitter about it. <laughs> our, um, our, our centre is mostly um, uh, interested in uh, computer games, um, and videos, avatars. Mm. And we have facilities related to anything related to camera, really. Um, and then um, there was this opportunity to do this research, and I said, why not? Good stuff. Well, look, good to talk to you. Appreciate you joining us. Thanks very much. No problem. Thank you for having me. Dr. Pia Soltani there from the um, University of Bath. Not Didn't see City or Rovers sawn off in a game. Or no. Bath City. Bath well, it wouldn't City, have been no. really if in the cup. Imagine that. I'll get them back. Yeah, I'll get the Premier League for that. <laughs> I'll, I'll stitch them up, definitely. But that oh, yeah. wasn't the case. And yeah, more I mean, cameras. So we said, what he's suggesting is more cameras. Yeah, more well, technology. Better cameras just for VAR, not using yeah. the TV cameras that aren't it, up to scratch. One of it makes a difference that there's no like lines in tennis or cricket. You'll have obviously lines that are there the whole yeah. time, whereas on offside decisions and everything, you're, you're judging on, on no lines. I you? mean, after what we talked about earlier on about the, the chess robot that went Westworld yeah. on the seven year old kid and pinched his finger. Yeah. Um, he's just been signed for for a uh, Millwall that that <laughs> chess robot. <laughs> really? <That's, laughs> yeah, yeah. He's sure Millwall. The um the other thing to worry about is like the semi automated um op- light, yes, sort of uh, line, assistant yeah, referee. Yeah, 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 course, Suddenly yeah. a player's running down the wing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not somebody the robot supports. Up goes the arm. Bang, like clothesline. Uh, exactly. Clothesline's the winger. It. 
Fantastic. Oh, well, it wouldn't be fair to be a disaster, wouldn't it? Really? <laughs> said fantastic. Tripping players over. Sounded like you wanted to see it, Paul, well, and then you backed out of it straight away. Liven up a dull game, wouldn't it? <laughs>